Good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Tawo Mushatane. At work, they call me Mr. T. Uh, Mr. T without chains and a mohawk. <laughs> um, I'm the residential manager of Codonia Psychosocial Rehabilitation Center. We mostly specialize in services towards people that have been diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar mood disorder. I am very much excited to take part in the Speak Your Mind campaign. What I love about it is that it gives everyone an opportunity to speak their mind about anything related to, to, to mental health uh, in their own communities. So therefore, for me, I would like to speak my mind on mental health. Um, there's one thing that I feel uh, as, as a country, as, as South Africa, we need to improve on, that is to take mental health seriously. And what do I mean by that? For me, to say that our government is really prioritizing mental health is when I see that the national health budget that is allocated um, uh, for mental health increase, because currently the national health budget uh, allo only allocated 5% uh, to mental health services, and that is not enough. Um, COVID-19 has really put a spotlight and exposed to the fact that the budget is not enough. Many people had suffered. One of the things that I wish our government can open uh, their eyes and see how important mental health is. If the mental health of citizens is well taken care of, I believe that we can be a very powerful society, but obviously we must attend to social ills that we are currently facing. That is unemployment, gender-based violence, which is just another second pandemic that has faced our people. You realize all these things affect people's mental health. So um, I, I just want to speak my mind on that. If we create an environment that is conducive and enabling to the people with disability. Therefore, they can be able to function very well and be capacitated and be able to realize their potential with an aim of self-actualization. We cannot keep on stigmatizing and discriminating people with disability based on the condition they have. We have a role to play and the role is to ensure that we create an environment that is conducive to them. So I'm gonna walk around and uh, introduce you to people that are, 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 are actually having lived experiences by virtue of uh, being diagnosed with mental illness. Uh, I'm gonna walk with you to look to see who are the people behind the care for people with um, mental disability. So this is gonna be a very exciting journey. My name is Asanda Zide. I'm a healthcare worker in Godonia Central Gaude Mental Society. So I'm going to work now to start my day. So we still are living with pandemic, so we have to screen before we go inside and sanitize our hands. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. Nice seeing you so early, Asanda. Thank you very much, Katoli. Thank you. So this is our clinic, the one I'm working in. So I'll be getting inside now, starting my starting my day. The barriers that we have, especially with the clinic, is the equipment. We have patients that are hypertensive. We have patients that are diabetic. So each and every day we have to check the level of the, 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 their illnesses. So with the machines that we have, it's only one and this is the small ones. And we have to buy strips to take blood glucose. So we are really short with the equipment. Then another thing is the doctor. 
I think as a facility like Godonia, as many as we are, we are supposed to have a doctor once or twice a week, a psychiatric one. Because we do use the clinics, the surrounding clinics. You will find that our residents, we take residents at 8 o'clock until 2 o'clock without even eating. Because they are there, there is a load in the clinic already, and we come again, maybe 15 of us. That's the challenges that we have. I choose to speak my mind for, the, for this campaign because I know there are a lot of people who might need help like me. So I'm saying whatever, wherever you are, just don't feel shy that you mentally ill. Go and seek help outside in the world. You know, there's always light in the tunnel for you. Don't say, you know what, I'm crazy, people will label me now. Just go out there and seek help. Don't just lock yourself in that closet. I'm coming, I'm coming to the with Catherine as well. Morning, Catherine. Morning, Cecilia. How are you? I'm good, are you? I'm good. I came to the with you for days, almost last time. Can I get a sanitizer? Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much, darling. Thank you. Yeah, you must enjoy your lunch, eh? But now I'm still voluntarily to work in the reception. And um, because it's something that I chose to do. Because just sitting and idling, doing nothing is stressful. So I decided to volunteer. But I'm happy, and I can say now I've got also experience in reception. Thank you very much again for going with me through this journey as we speak our minds on mental health. I hope that you've learned a lot, you've heard lived experiences. You've heard uh, the challenges that people with mental illness are facing and challenges that we as the facility, as an, a, a non-profit organization is facing. I think what I've learned is that uh, with, through these conversations and interaction I've had, I've learned that there's still hope. I think we have a task as a public, we have a task as the community to start re-introspecting ourselves. Do we still have Ubuntu within us? Do we still have this the, the spirit of care and love towards others? If we do, then I know very well that stigma, the enemy of mental health will not withstand. I think that people with mental illness or any kind of disability will not feel like they are an isolated group. Let us have a different thinking and different attitude.